You wouldn't know, but Angela's got a fabulous figure beneath that dreadful uniform of trousers, long sleeves and scarves. Time to prove it to her. I can see this much of your body. So I can see this little tiny square mm. here. I can see these mm. two little flippers here. <laughs> and at the bottom, I can see skinny ankles and just almost all of your feet. So you are doing this amazing cover-up where you're saying, hi, my name's Angela, and you're allowed to know nothing about me whatsoever because this is mine. Well, you know what? This is where it all ends. So let's take that off first of all. OK. Angela's got a real issue with her neck, but by cutting a V into her top and drawing the eye away from her neck and down to that fabulous cleavage. You've got this gorgeous rack. The, I wouldn't even know they were there. You look a little bit shocked. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm are you fine. all right? I'm fine. Next, these scissor hands are snipping away at those sleeves she uses to hide those arms. My immediate reaction is to pull it down a bit. Trust me, I'm a stylist. I finally found a use for one of those hideous scarves. I don't know whether I feel sexier yet, Gok. But I do like this idea of covering up the top of the arms with a bolero. <laughs> I now want to see some of your lovely legs. I've been wearing trousers for so many years, I haven't actually seen my legs. By cutting up Angela's casual clothes, which made her look shapeless and stumpy, I've revealed her fabulous hourglass shape and just check out those slim, sexy pins. It's gorgeous. My oh, God, I just love it. This mirror's not fixed. No, I it's promise not a you. Trick mirror. And so the only trickery going on is the fact that you've been tricking yourself for bloody years, covering God, it all look up. Look at those legs. Those are shapely legs, I think, don't you think? You're gorgeous. You are so hot. I feel seriously sexy, actually. Isn't that amazing? 